Right, this time, it won't be me reacting to someone like Chibi reading an article. It's gonna be me reading an article! I know, crazy, huh? I gotta stop being lazy and try to press some original content. This article I saw last night was pretty funny. And it says, Adia sometimes hides your feelings in Russian was originally envisioned as an isekai story. Can you believe that shit? Like, I don't know how truthful this is. It's a, by, it's a guy, a dude named Ami Nazaru in a, I don't know, in a website called Anime Hunch. Who knows how reliable these are, but isekai, really. Roshitere being isekai, let's see what he has to say. The currently airing anime attached to Roshitere is gaining positive reviews from fans for its character and setting. However, if Sun Sun Sun, or Sun Sun Sun, the author of the series, had stuck to the originally conceived concept of the story, then we would have had an isekai story in our hands. And listen, I love isekai. We are the shitty isekai channel, right? I am the king of shitty isekai reactions, I think. But even... With that, even despite the fact that we love Isekai, I think that Roshidei being Isekai will be the fucking worst thing that could have ever happened. The success that it's having right now by being a rom-com, I think is plenty enough, and I'm glad that it didn't go the you know, Isekai route, but what if it did? According to 2021 interview, the author had originally conceived the story as an Isekai novel. How? In the interview, Sun shared that the original inspiration was to write about a cute but disappointing heroine who gets all flustered and smug because she thinks the other person doesn't understand the language, going, <laughs> you don't get what I'm saying and feeling superior. You know what? That is a pretty interesting concept, right? Where there's always this isekai language barrier and sometimes there's already a way to translate the language, but using that language barrier, you know, cliche, that trope, and using that as an actual plot mechanic where the main character, you know, says, Dere dere embarrassing shit like Adia might say, but expecting the others to not understand, but wouldn't they understand? The idea led to Sun to consider an isekai reincarnation plot. In this version, the reincarnated heroine would speak Japanese to the protag, feeling confident that he couldn't understand her. The twist would be that the protagonist was also a reincarnated person who could understand Japanese perfectly. What? The protag would- I'm sure the protag had a name like fucking Minoru Skagen or some shit, like Eminence and Shadow, some Japanese name, and the, the female lead just didn't understand that they could be Japanese. This humorous Minjus understanding was meant to form the core of a short story. I'm not sure how long of content you could stretch out that concept for, but for sure, off of like a short story, like it would be a pretty fun concept for like a comedy isekai. Yeah, I could see that. However, the isekai genre's need for extensive world building and background explanation led Sun to simplify the story, setting it in the real world instead. And honestly, thank fucking god. As I thought about it more, I realized, wait, couldn't I just do this with a foreign language in a normal setting? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yeah, and then she picked Russian. The isekai setting required a lot of world building and explanation, so I decided to keep it simple and set it in a real world romance. After considering various languages, the author chose Russian, drawn to the idea of fairy-like mystical beauty often associated with Russian women. Is this true? How many of you guys are under the impression that Russian women have this mystique beauty that's fairy-like? I honestly, there's like little to no Russian people that I know in Canada. I honestly like, on the top of my head, I've only had one Russian friend named Vladimir, he was sick. He was so smart. That was back in college, though. Other than that, I, like, have no understanding. Yeah, no Russian girls. It's just all been a, just a bunch of dudes wearing fucking Adidas full tracksuits, man. Then when considering which country's language to use, I thought English was out because too many people would understand it. And, honestly, the English would have been so fucking cringe, right? I don't know. Maybe they could have gotten the voice actor that actually speaks full in English. Just like how the voice actor for Adia speaks good enough Russian. Since the heroine would have a foreign blood, I wanted her to be a beautiful girl with a completely different appearance from Japanese people. I mean, listen. Roshidere Alia. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like I've seen so many silver haired beauties in anime. Like, they, they all- the anime girls all look fucking for exactly, right? Like, sorry, this is unrelated. Like, I- 
Alia? It's just an anime girl with silver hair. There's so many of that shit. Actually, wait. Why don't we do something like this? Re-Zero, um, uh... Oh shit, I'm not gonna spoil myself. I hope I don't. Yeah, this girl, right? Shit, is, is this girl Russian then? Is Amelia Russian? <laughs> well, I don't think... I don't think this girl is fucking um, Japanese either, right? Amelia, I don't think it's Japanese. It's, a, it's a, from a fucking isekai world, right? Yeah, yeah, fair, fair, fair. That's, that's how she's not Japanese. But I'm talking about, like, regular anime girls in anime, you know? But the... The topic here is from Japanese people. Fuck, dude, if you just like died, uh, like, yeah, Tobichi Origami, Silver Girl, if you just died, like, um, like even Yuki in Roshitere, Masachika's sister, Yuki, just gave her silver hair, that would have been a fucking Alia. When I thought about it, I intuitively felt that Russia would be a good choice. For some reason, I had this image that Russian beauties have like a fair, like, mystical beauty. That's why I chose Russia. I feel like the author. You know, like, the definition of a weeb is like a Western person that thinks that East is so superior and loves their culture no matter what, they glaze that shit. I feel like this is a Russia boo. The author, same as the voice actor, the video we covered last night regarding Alia's voice actor and how much the influence that she had by going to Moscow during her, you know, foreign exchange students program. And like, fucking getting propagandized by like fucking Stalin or some shit. I feel like they're just a bunch of Russia boos, man, that actually don't understand, you know, <laughs> what, what Russia really is. And they're like, yeah, I just feel like, you know, Russian beauty is very like mystical. It's like, the fuck? Are you sure? I'm not saying that they're not, you know, very like Russian beauty. I'm just saying that this seems like a stereotypical, you know, blanket statement that, you know, just like how, you know, Western people have of the Japanese culture, maybe, you know, these people have of the Russian culture. I don't fucking know. Roshidere is a Japanese light novel series written by San San San, yeah, I know. Before the publication on Karoka Sneaker Bunko and Imprint, two short stories were published, okay. However, the stories and the characters in the web version are completely different from the published novel. A manga adaptation by, you know, Saho, blah, 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 happened in October 2022, and the anime is airing by Dogakobo, one of the best studios ever in July 2024. And this is an article, but this I actually found this. I actually found this in the subreddit. So if I do this and go Reddit. Yes. Was this last night? Yeah, I, this, this is where I found it. So hold up. Let's see it. Let's see it. Let's read some top comments here. So initially it was going to be heroin. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of what we already saw. I just want some funny comments. Let's see. Is there any funny comments? Shit, there's a lot of comments off the base off the first comment, man. Looks like they're rolling with the Isekai theme in the spinoff novel. Returning to its roots. Oh! This is what that picture was, right? Because I saw this art of Alia and I'm like, what's going on here, right? Even Masatsuka is like a, a mage. Alia is some sort of like frontline warrior. Masha is like a priest. You know, that's pretty interesting. So they're going to be able to do a spin off by going back to the Isekai route. That's kind of cool, huh? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Wait. Russia equals another world. Noted. <laughs> Played by the reign of a demon lord. <laughs> Turns out Zelensky doesn't need F-16s. <laughs> he needs to summon another Yusha. Hey, okay, enough of the political. <laughs> Author found out that uh, Uesaka Sumiri exists and created a character for her to fully unleash a Russian. I think this is Alia's actual voice actor, right? Comrade Uesaka. If you can tell the same story without him being an isekai, it shouldn't be an isekai. Sadly, many authors are just chasing the trends. Well, if you can tell us... I mean... Yeah, there is a lot of trends with isekais, right? People are always trying to figure out how it can be an isekai. But just like how this author made it into a rom-com and succeeded, you don't have to make it a rom-com, right? Sorry, an isekai. The fact that it succeeded by being a rom-com already proves that it's actually so cool how it did that. Thank God they changed their mind indeed, man. To be fair, if you replace Russia in the story with the fantasy isekai world and replace Russia... Yeah. Yeah. Straight up, right? Like, it would be... It, like, it, it would be like a fucking... Isekai rom-com. Remember what I said about... Uh, Nephi? Zagan? The elf made one? And the arc demon, you know, is, is acoustic and trying to resist up elf demon. The reason that I liked that rom-com because it was like a fantasy setting, right? If you just took Roshidere... And just replaced, you know, the isekai... If you just replaced the Russia with, like, an isekai world... Like, 100%. It could have been just, like, a fantasy anime with the rom-com. But I wonder if the Russia involvement somehow creates representation for the Russian weebs. And therefore, people are more likely to watch it. 
But this is pretty interesting that, you know, the show that we all love right now, this rom-com that Roshi today was originally envisioned as an isekai story. Imagine if it actually did. And in fact, you know, the spin-off series is gonna be like this. I don't know. Maybe we can check this out one day.